Hugs and kisses to all my toodles. Hey toodles, today's Monday. I'm rocking my face today. I'm actually loving everything, but I think my eyeshadow is a little bit too dark, but I'm loving this color on my lips. And if y'all wonder, this is what is on my lips and this is what I like. Now, it's Monday makeup review. And I am going to do my Monday makeup review. I had bought this over the weekend. So I'm going to do a review on this. And it is the Profusion Make Me Blush for Blush Set with a new brush. There's the brush. I'm going to tell you how the brush, how soft it is. And I'm going to go through these colors and through this. I actually want to keep the box. I kept saying, oh, I'm going to throw the box away. But I actually want to keep the box because I'm not going to. I'm going to put everything back in here when it's done. Because I don't want to get rid of this box yet. Because I have an idea for a DIY project for myself with the, with the box. I can put stuff in here like this and have it closed and it does this and have this as a decoration so I want to do that as well so as I go through here I'm going to open this up I am so excited I've been wanting this and I was hoping to get this for my birthday and I didn't get it for my birthday. And they've been putting this out since October. Oh my gosh. Look at the brush. The brush is a two-tone color. As you see there. And it's like darker here. Oh my gosh. This brush is so freaking soft. It is like so soft. Oh my god. It is. It is so soft. It's going to be so good to use it. It's kind of on my cheeks mm -hmm. but as for now I'm using my Avon Kabuki brushes and y'all know I'm in love with makeup brushes but I'm also in love with Kabuki brushes and I have one I think I got a brand new brush that I bought me for three bucks I have a brand new brush it I had two brand new Kabuki brushes that I have not used and I will be setting them out on my makeup vanity when I get my makeup room so I'm going to go ahead and put the brush back in its spot and I'm going to pull out all these blushes these are cute little containers and when they're done I may keep the little boxes because I can put like loose powder and stuff in the boxes like these. You can always put like loose powder in it. So let me swatch this one. Oh my god, they're soft. And look how pretty and pigmented it is. Oh my god. That is so gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Take a look at that color, how gorgeous that is. Look at that pretty color. Oh my god, that is so gorgeous. And look at this color. And there it is there, the second color. It is so freaking, freaking gorgeous. Here's the next one. Let's watch this color. And these cases are so pretty, so cute. The cases are cute. It's like I might even get have to buy me. Um, and there it is. There is just the color. I may have to go out and get a during after Christmas. These things like in the month of January, like right after Christmas, these things are gonna go on sale, real cheap. So. Don't be surprised if you decide to do a swamp with me. Don't be surprised if you don't get this in your swamp box. Oh my god. Look at that pink. The last one. The pink. 
and that is so pretty and pigmented look at that compared to the other ones that is so pigmented so gorgeous and that is that going through this that I just recently bought and it's also something that I might well they have these I bought one for a girl I'm doing this one with Tina and I bought her a set and they were um, the sticks blushes and I thought you know what the heck that's something I want to get too is the stick blushes but some of the makeup that they do have at Walgreens and they do have at Family Dollar and Dollar General I know a lot of that I know after Christmas a lot of their stuff is going to be going going on sale afterwards and what not so I will be getting a lot of their makeup and stuff because it would be on sale after Christmas like this right now is on five dollars and then after Christmas it'll probably be less than five dollars I may get it for buck fifty and I can get more than enough because I told my husband, I said, after Christmas, I'm taking a hundred dollars of, you know, a hundred dollars and I'm going to go get some makeup and stuff for some swamps. Now, the next thing I'm going to do along with this video is I did a shopping haul yesterday and I went to a friend of mine who was doing that sells makeup and she gets it from Ulta. So I bought it from her and then she gave me a whole bunch of hair products. So I'm going to show you some of the things that she gave me. This is one thing she gave me. And it is called a blow dry va volume, voluming gel for your hair. And it really hasn't been used, but it's it just twisted up because she was showing me it twisted up and showed me. And a lot of the stuff is brand new stuff and has not been used. But I have gotten some from her and I sent it to Bridget and she said it looked new, not new, but used or old. And it probably was used or old. And I mentioned that to her, so she let me know that some of this was what it was and stuff like that. So, this is one thing she had given me. Then she gave me this buttercream cupcake um, gel stuff. You open it and it's um, not for your hair, but it's scrub for your body. And when my husband smelled this last night, he was in here going, emphasizing treatment like yeah I can eat that it smells really really good and I'm like okay hon um the other stuff she gave me was the sweet fantasy vanilla caramel lotion and it's kind of but it's some good lotion so I'll probably be using that eventually then she gave me a bunch of these um this is a a hair spray and it's a brand new bottle never been used it is full and it's still kind of got the seal on it so then she gave me one of these which is these are mousses and I gave one of these to my stepdaughter as well because as you can tell I had four of them and I gave one to my cousin and one to my stepdaughter as well and then she gave me this thing here bronze bronzing mousse um for your hair as well so i'll be trying these things out on my hair soon enough but as for now i'm going to put them back in this bag then she gave me got gave me some makeup and the makeup i really do not want to give away i'm not actually going to give away this makeup because it might have been some that could have been used or given away and last night i tried this right here and it, it was kind of hard i'll show you what it looks like inside it is brand new because it had plastic around it but i opened it up last night that's what it looks like and it says it is a small shade mousse makeup and when i put when you let me show you where have you been your doctor said you didn't want to leave in the house I was just following the lead. 
I left a message on your voicemail. I don't know how to use my password to check my voicemail. Well, you could have checked in, left a note. I'm it shows that color right now, but once you start right. blending it in really, really good, it goes into that color. Any breakthroughs? And it goes in to like that, so that's perfect. Then I got this here, and I did open it up yesterday. And it is the Maybelline Color Molten. And it is a two-tone color. And yes, I swatched it on my hands yesterday. So here's the two colors right there. You know, that sounds really more generous than I probably deserve. And there's the colors, like, right there. The two colors. They're not that pigmented, but they're pretty as well. Then I got me this Ramel London Bronzer. And my cousin bought one of these, and this is number 21. And I really love this bronzer color because I swatched it yesterday. There's the color. Crazy. And I'll show you. It's not really bright, but I had stuck it right there. And it's not real bright, but it's a pretty shade. So if I use it, it won't make my face look real orangey or real bright. So that's a good relief on the bronzer. Then I bought, got me, she got me the Bare Mineral Brush. And I've seen everybody haul this brush. And I'm like, I'm going to get it and try it out. And it's awesome. So I have me another brush to put in my brush collection. And I'm just going to stick it in there where I got them brushes. Then, this has been used. That's why I say some of the stuff has been used. This is a, the NYX Brow. And she actually used it. Her daughter actually used it. And it's that color, and it's to do your eyebrows. So I'm going to show you what color it is on here. I'm going to test it on my hand. And it is for eyebrows. And you can also, if you want to do liquid brown eyeliner, it is a brow. So it's right here. And it's a very, it's a very pretty brown. But it's not all that. And then I got this Revlon. Color Stay Moisturizer Stain, and I tried this on my lips yesterday, and I absolutely love these just as much as I do the Ramel London. So I'm gonna try to get all of these. So this is going to be probably this will probably be in my Friday this coming Friday phase Excuse me. as well. What time is it? I don't know. Late. Where have you been? Out with my boyfriend, and you didn't think to tell either of us. I saw you getting dropped off by yours earlier, so I figured it would be okay. I realize that I'm not your favorite person, and, and that's a pretty color. A reason for that. But I am just trying to catch my breath here. If you could just cut me and last but least, <coughs> whatever. <coughs> I got this, and it's by Tarte, and it's in the box, so it is okay. brand new, never been used because it's in the box. I guess so. And this is a lip gloss. And I love the packaging of it. And it is like, I don't understand what it's because like. I do, it feels like I'm defending something that isn't defensible. I don't know if it's supposed to be clear or pink because looking at the top here, it's, it's pink. Oh, okay, the brush is pink. But the lip gloss, I'm going to go ahead and do it right here. And the lip gloss is like that color. And I don't know if that's supposed to be the color of the lip gloss or not. I really don't know. And I know that you're skeptical. But I really don't like this lip gloss because as putting it on, it's real sticky. So the Tarte lip gloss, these lip glosses are real sticky. So it's actually going to make my lips real, real sticky when I do put it on. So I don't know if I want to keep this since it is brand new and and it's just now been used and opened by swatching with me or if I want to put it in one of my giveaways or give it to somebody in a swamp I haven't decided or if I want to give it to my stepdaughter I haven't decided and this one here is says 
is a quick concealer. I am trying to get to And this is a brand of it right here. And I would love it for you to try to get to know her with me. What if the old you comes back? And there it is. So I'm going to put it on the top of my knuckles. And there it is on the top of my knuckles. And that's the color of it right there. And at first I was like rolling it up and I was like, you get concealer like this? But I do have a concealer that is from Avon. I think I still have it. If I do, I'll show you. Okay, no, this one ain't from Avon either. Okay, I'm gonna put that concealer. This ain't from Avon. This is Manundo. And it is a concealer. It is like a lipstick. And my stepdaughter thought this was lipstick at one time, and she's like, it's lipstick, so put that on your lips. And my sister-in-law was putting this on my lips, I said, that's concealer, hello. She goes, oh, okay. She goes, well, it looks good on your lips, so we'll conceal your lips. And then when she put the lipstick on on my wedding day, it was totally awesome. And then she put the...